Good day people this is uh, Mohit once again and today I'm going to show you how to make a flash preloader very easily and very quickly. Let's begin. Shall we click on uh, action script 3? No. 2? No. We'll instead click on sample files here. Okay. And then I select the second last option which is preloader for SWF. I'll say okay. So a uh, flash gives us a sample file and I'll tweak it to make a nice simple flash preloader. The first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this loading red text. Then I'll get rid of one single layer which is the backgrounds layer. Completely get rid of it. Thereafter I'll change the size, uh, sorry, the color of the stage to white. Next, I want to change this uh, percent text field color the text color to uh, black because uh, the stage is white and if uh, I want to see the text color it needs to be uh, anything but white alright guys next on frame number two on the content layer some content needs to go there so I'll bring in a picture I'll import it onto the stage import to stage sample files all right 550 by 400 is the stage size okay let's go back to frame number one I need to make a preloader here mm, let me select the rectangle tool draw a progress bar get rid of the outline okay give it a linear gradient fill mm, select the transform tool mm, skew it make it perpendicular and just bring the two bars together two lines together there so um, a 3D kind of an effect looking good this I'll convert into a symbol I'll press F8 uh, registration point can be top left middle left or bottom left that's fine I'll call it progress underscore MC MC for movie clip thereafter I'll go inside uh, the actions uh, layer and open up the actions panel then I need to add one single line of statement action script statement and that's it I'll type here progress underscore MC that was the name of the progress bar dot scale X. Scale X is the property that um, increases the size along the X axis. Space equals space make it equal to the variable loaded and if you notice loaded is equal to bytes loaded by bytes total. You don't really need to bother too much about the code it's, it's there already for us. Uh, it's there to serve us. Ready made for us. Okay guys and that's all that I need to do. Let me test the movie by pressing control enter on the keyboard. You didn't see anything that's because I have to simulate the download. So 10% 20 30 It's going very smoothly. Didn't take too long, did it? So we have a preloader in around two minutes, or maybe lesser than that. So guys, how simple it is to make a preloader. 
So all the best guys, make a preloader for yourself. Just one small word of uh, caution here. If you notice, when uh, bytes loaded become equal to bytes total, what happens through this uh, script is it goes on to the second frame and stops there. But just in case you have more than uh, two frames, uh, you can uh, replace this single statement with a play function play parent parent semicolon and then at the end of your uh, timeline you need to have a stop function as well otherwise it will start looping back to the freeloader uh, script okay guys I hope you learned something bye bye